Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on all of those projects that I purchased from Habitat for Humanity a couple days ago. I showed you the video of my haul and of me shopping for a little bit. And today is the day that I'm going to upcycle them. So let's just jump right into the projects. So my first project today is going to be upcycling this chair that I got from Habitat for Humanity Restore. And if you saw my haul video uh, a few days ago, you know that I paid about $1.80 for this because it was $4 and it was like 70% off the blue tags that day. And I could not pass up a chair for like $1.80, even one as nasty as this. It's definitely beat up around the edges, but that does not scare me at all. It's super solid. If this was rickety, I wouldn't have tried to mess with it, but it's solid. It has some nice details. I like these little flowers. I think those will um, those will come out nice when I distress it or even if I wax it, I'm not exactly sure. So I'm gonna go dig through my fabric downstairs and I think this will turn out awesome. So I paid $1.80. I think I can probably charge about $30, but let's see how good it looks when it's done and then I can really uh, know what price to charge. Next up, I have this kind of wavy piece of architecture. I'm not sure exactly what it broke off of. Maybe a dresser or a bed frame or a hutch. Many options there, but I only paid 30 cents for it because it was $1 and then the blue tags were 70% off. So I paid 30 cents. I know it's not much to look at right now, but I'm gonna paint it white, distress it really well, give it some age and some character and add some black hooks and just sell this as like a little coat rack. Next up is this old two by four. I just like the color and the age to it. I know it looks like nothing special, but I'm gonna cut it into thirds and I'm going to put four little feet on each board and make three different uh, little risers for kind of displaying on your table. I promise once you see them, you will understand how adorable they are, uh, but that's the plan for this guy.
I'm gonna throw in one more project while I'm out here at my saw table already. I have these two pieces of furring strip. I have cut them to equal size. They're probably about 18 inches, 19 inches actually to be exact. I should know that because I just cut them. And then the other day I was pulling out this old white shutter and all of the innards of the shutter, like all the slats just completely fell off the frame. So I have a big stack of these. And I almost just pitched them. I was so mad that it happened. But I think I'm gonna actually make kind of like a little faux mini ladder using the furring strips and then the shutter pieces going across. I don't know what that's gonna look like in the end. This is a total experiment, but I think that this will be pretty cute. I'm going to, I think, stain these pretty dark before. I mean, I really just wanted to nail it together, but I think I will. I'll go stain these dark. I'm gonna stain the risers while I'm at it, and then um, I can come back out and assemble this ladder, and that'll be another easy project all done. So for the risers, I'm using a water-based stain from General Finishes in the medium brown, but I'm actually watering it down quite a bit so it's more like a wash and not like a stain. It looks really dark when it's wet, but when it dries, it'll be nice and light like it almost was before, but now the feet are going to match it. So I just wanted to add that in there for you guys. Next up, I'm gonna transform this little old door into a super cute farmhouse style sign. This is only a dollar, so I paid 30 cents because it was 70% off. I like that it's kind of weathered and already like a grayish white. So I think this will be a quick project that will turn out super cute. Next up, I have these palette shelves. I am just gonna be adding four black hooks to each section of shelf. And that's it, they've already been sanded, they've already been cleaned up. I paid $2 each, but they are 50% off, so I think I paid a dollar each for each shelf, which was crazy cheap. 
Um, and they're, you know, really rustic. They're not exactly flat and level. They're not going to be like the best shelves ever, but I think they'll be a really cute statement piece for whoever buys them. So that's my last thing today. The black iron hooks ended up being a total fail for this project because the pallets were just way too thin and soft to support them. So I had to go with a plan B and I will show you that reveal um, in the final looks in a minute. Okay, it's almost 8 p.m. on a Friday night, but I got everything done. I'm so proud of myself because I am exhausted. It's been a really long day, so I'm just gonna get through everything that I did today. So here is how the chair turned out. It's nice and neutral. I didn't end up painting anything on the drop cloth. I just really liked how simple it looked. If it doesn't sell, then maybe I'll add like a green sex stripe. The crackling you're seeing in the paint is just because I probably didn't clean it enough and there was oil in the wood. But I actually love that effect and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's not like gonna flake off or anything. That's just from the paint separating a bit on the oil. I distressed the edges really lightly. This color is Reverent Gray from General Finishes, so it's a milk paint, so it doesn't technically need a top coat. And I just love how like all the details came through with the distressing. And on camera, it almost looks like the same color as the drop cloth. It's not quite the same color. They're just both very soft and neutral. And I really can't even believe that it's the same chair. Okay, moving right along. Here's kind of a display of everything. I didn't buy this Ikea picture recently, but I did put that uh, crockery stamp on there with the lilac, or the lavender, I should say. Look how cute my little risers came out. They're a little like Middle Earth, like Hobbiton, but I think they're super cute. So the watered down stain, I mean, it dried really light. I know it looked like it went on pretty dark, but it's exactly the color that I wanted it to be. And I didn't intend to go for like a bleached wood look for this haul, but it really all turned out to be really cohesive and, and I'm loving like the lighter wood tones nowadays. I obviously didn't buy these at Habitat for Humanity either. These are actually from Hobby Lobby and I just tied some green ring on there. Um, here is that door. So I took the handle off, I sanded it a little bit and just attached a wreath. Super simple project that came out really cute. I have these bowls here because I actually bought these today and went and picked them up. I got them on Facebook Marketplace and I paid 15 for the pair and this one's really, really big underneath there. They're not quite like the collection that I have, but they, they will complement it nicely. And if I decide to sell them, I, I definitely bought them at a price that I could make a profit on. So I love those. I love the, like the natural crockery color right now. I'm super into that color. It's you know, very reminiscent of the drop cloth color here and even this light gray. It's just all working together so beautifully. And there's another riser down here. This was a super pleasant surprise and obviously just another um, project that I threw in. But look how cute this came out. Is it gonna stand up for me? Here we go. I just love it and I'm so happy that I have more materials. I don't have any more of these little tiny rings. These are actually napkin rings, I think from Hobby Lobby. I don't even know, I've had them for a really long time. And I layered two of them because one was just looking a little wimpy. But how cute is that? It has a little gingham ribbon. And you can see like where I was scratching the wood here with the screwdriver and then the white wax just really picked up those details. I think it looks awesome. This stuff is just kind of for display purposes. This is that uh, jute rug, or jute runner I got from Walmart last week in my haul. This is an antique bucket that I have been loving to have on hand for display purposes and I'm just not quite ready to sell it. I've actually been trying to sell it and then brought it back home, so I think it's gonna stay home with me for a while. Oh, okay, and the last thing, no, two more things, the two shelves. So 
here is how that piece of oak turned out. So this is just an oak piece of wood and I painted it the same light gray as the chair. So it's a reverent gray. I white waxed it. So if you see really closely, I don't know if it's going to be able to show you that kind of detail. But in the grooves of the wood and the grain, it actually picked up a lot of the white wax there. I added this just natural colored board to the top just so it would look a little bit more like a finished shelf. And then all the white hooks from Hobby Lobby. So that came out so cute and just like really um, like a French country vibe, just kind of like most things that I've made today, which I, I love. It's actually my preference over farmhouse. I'm trying to kind of go more this direction than I am the modern farmhouse that's so popular right now. Okay, last but not least, can you hear how out of breath I am? Oh, I'm feeling very pregnant right now. Okay. The palette shelf. So I only got one done today, but I figured that'd be enough for you guys to see. So I don't know if you could tell what I was doing, but I made these pegs for the hooks. And that is because I couldn't get the black hooks. Let me get this up here for you. I couldn't get the black hooks that I normally use, the iron hooks, to feel sturdy enough in this wood. They kept stripping out because the wood is so soft. So I, for now, have just glued these pegs on, and then I'm when the the glue is dry, which it's getting there. I'm gonna drive a couple nails through the back. So I think it'll be super sturdy. And I mean, they just kind of blend right into the palettes. I use the exact same technique to stain them as I did for the little legs for my risers. So I just use that very watered down medium brown stain from General Finishes. And it just matches all this bleached wood perfectly. So that was definitely an experiment, but I think it looks really cute and they're not too in your face and they're going to be sturdy and they're going to work on this soft wood. So I'm just really excited about this. I also want to add really quick my other purchase of the day, which was this really adorable kind of cream colored wash stand. I found it at a, an antique store in town that I hardly ever go to because they don't often have furniture, but this was only $49. She had just marked it down. Um, the drawers need a little help just like opening and closing, but I'm very used to that and I thought it was so cute. I moved my little bowls over here because I think they look so cute on top. So that was another happy find for me because I have not had much luck with furniture lately. Thanks so much for watching today and hanging out with me while I do these upcycling projects. Let me know in the comments what your favorite project was. I would love to hear that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!